Yo, what's happening, my people? What's happening? So it's Sunday. It is late night. Lovecraft Country, episode 7. I am. So basically, this the Hippolyta episode. Pretty much, man. This, this one was crazy. Like, last episode, man, we they had Homegirl. And I think that was the best episode they had so far. So this week, my expectations, I was like, man, I don't know where they going with it. And I seen, uh... Like a little previews, and I'm like, hmm, what's gonna gonna go on with this one, man? But it's a it's a it's an interesting one. <laughs> Let's get into the episode, man. I'm sorry, I'm dropping these so late. Like it probably be like uh in the middle of the night, like early morning or something. I'm gonna keep it out. I'm gonna keep it funky with you because uh, shit, I ain't got access to watching it early and stuff. Like I be watching them online, so. And to be, to be quite honest, they don't be dropping online till late. So, I, I'm going I'm, to I'm have to uh, invest in HBO Max or something. But anyways, man, let me let me hurry up and get in this, man. Thank y'all for, for your recurring subscribers. If this is your first time, man, I really appreciate y'all. Let's get into it. So, Hippolyta finds the wreckage and stuff of Uncle George, man. She, she went back, she dove back. I got to find out what happened to my husband. She starts messing with this solar system thing as well. Like whenever she gets back and she like messing with it and she finds she finds the key or whatever. Kristen and them, the witches or whatever, they've been looking for this. They was trying to get this. That's why they was trying to get into the house earlier in the series, like episode two and stuff. But... They they end up having the witch woman. They had the voodoo no episode three. They had the the uh, the voodoo woman put the the marks on the doors and stuff, so she couldn't get in. So Hippolyta ended up she had the stuff and she had followed the coordinates to whatever, and then she ends up. Let let's move on. Let's move on. Uh, we find out why Kristen. I think that's her name. I think that's her name. Kristen or Catherine or something. The white lady. She she chose why she chose William to take his form or whatever and mess with Ruby, etc. That was her ex lover. That was her lover and stuff. And her daddy killed him, etc. Or whatever. I mean, she took their forms and made potions with it. So. Whoever took the potion was able to take their forms. And so, and then it was a way for her to do things in life that she couldn't do as a woman. But she told Ruby, she was like, I did this. I might have did this as a man, but it's something I wanted to do or whatever. So, that's that's that. Uh, Letty, Letty is having nightmares, man. She having nightmares. And it looked like she's pregnant. And the same lady that saved Tick. In the burning house, his ancestor, she sees this woman and she's chasing her, and she has a the book, she has the book in her hands where where the the woman has the book and she's chasing her and she looks down she has a she has a uh, a baby bump, and then she sets on fire and stuff. She wake up like what what the hell? Then she goes up, she finds Tick. Tick is sitting distressed. He looked like he got a lot on his mind and stuff. Then she talks to him. He's trying to decode decode uh, these languages and stuff. He wants to find out these spells and this and that. Uh, they they find out that they both have the same recurring, like the dream or whatever. And so what's what's common amongst both of the, the, our dreams or with the lady? And it's the book, the book of names. So that's his ancestor. So his ancestor seems to have the book of names. So if they get the book of names, then they'll be able to do spells and stuff. And I think they want to be able to like help their community and stuff, help the black people and stuff, if and be protected if they get these spells. But how can they they get them? Macho and Sammy is finally spending some time together. Like they always been on the down low or whatever, but now they they are a little open to it. And Matros, you find out about him like he's just a miserable person. It don't matter if he being open with himself or when he was with his wife or with Tick as a little boy. Like he's just a miserable person, man. Like he, and so he runs Sammy away. 
When you ever Sammy goes out, he tries to grab him. I'm sorry. Taking Letty is right there. So he sees that he like. So it's true. So all the time you've been beating, you was beating me and stuff. You was for me not to be soft and stuff. Like you, you a faggot. Like that's his words. That's that's what he said on the show. So he said that, and he like, I'm still your father. You better, <laughs> you better respect me and stuff. But the daddy, Macho's no tick beat the hell out of him early on. So he can puff his chest out, but you know he know he can't handle tick. But Tick runs out of there, man. And Tick, even Letty. Letty is, is kind of scared of Tick sometimes. Like, she knows his temper. Like, but he was in, he was in the army. And when he went to the war and stuff, like, he ain't been right since then. And you see on the last episode, like, what he was doing out there. Like, he was killing people without blinking out there. So they unlocked some, some hidden things in him. And that's why he's the way that he is. But, he talking to Letty, he like, all this time I thought he, he did this because he loved me. But he was doing it for himself, like, because of, of something that was in him. And so that really, that really crushed him. That really crushed him. Uh, they, they end up trying to go find the, the book of names, but it's in St. Louis, so they got to get old Woody. They go to get Woody. Hippolyta is like, nigga, I'm, I'm going. Uh, when Uncle George died, he, he ain't left you in charge of the of the thing, the uh whatever they was doing, the maps and, and all that. He so I'm going. So they shoot out and so he like, damn. So I guess we're gonna have to take the bus. So he gonna take the bus to St. Louis. Letty he like, uh, unless you wanna stay. So Letty stays to talk to her sister. Uh Letty and Ruby, they finally like hash it out, she like I'm sorry I lied to you and stuff, and I kind of gamed you. I'm more like mama than I realized. I'm sorry. And it's, it's a tender moment between them. And she's like, you ain't exactly like mama. Mama ain't never apologized for anything in her life. So Tick, Tick goes to St. Louis, goes, goes to find answers. He sees these people. Hippolyta, she goes to Mayfield. And Letty and, Letty and Ruby get back on good terms. Uh... Then they talking in the kitchen and stuff. She, what do what does this need? I'm tasting the food and she like, I, I don't. You used to love garlic. Why you don't like garlic now? Look like she might be pregnant. She might be pregnant, dog. Tick is talking to to a uh, old lady that knew his his people, and so she running it running it to him and telling him about what she knows, and she ends up showing him this this photo album, and he look on the photo album and he sees a mark. On somebody on, and he, he looks in the mirror. He like, I have the same mark on. So it's it's something deep in their family roots. We will find that out later on. We won't find out this episode, but it's something deep in their family roots. They call, so letting end up calling, and she like, Tick, I'm warning you, you have to go check on Hippolyta, man. Uh. She had the solar system thing in their coordinates on there. And she went there. You got to go stop her. You got to go go save her. So that is his mission. He has to go try to try to save it, Hippolyta. Because she's about to go put herself in danger. Uh, Hippolyta, she finds a, a telescope and stuff. She goes to, to this, this far off place where the, the coordinates tell her to go. She finds a telescope. And then she's super smart. And she's doing all kind of uh, all kind of formulas and this and that. I wouldn't have found out nothing. When it would have been the first formula, I'd be, uh, 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 uh. I, I, I think I'm intelligent sometimes. I, I would say y'all might, but I, I'm not that intelligent because I'd be stuttering and be looking for words and stuff. So I don't think y'all think I'm that smart <laughs> as well. <laughs> but... She does all this and she finds out how to activate this thing. But it, like did this machine comes on, the police come and catch her. What are you doing up here? And you know that what the time this is. This is like the 1950s. So, nigga, what are you doing up here and stuff? And they about to kill her. Tick rushes in, saves her, but the machine is activated. So they, they are fighting with the cops, man, and, and having a shootout and this and that with them. But it ends up, Sucking them in. 
it sucks him into this machine. And it's crazy. It's like she goes forward in time and stuff, and it's like a, a alien kind of thing. And then they, they lock her up. They lock her up in this room. And she's like, where am I? This and that. And some woman with a big-ass afro. This big afro woman. And she's like, you are not in prison. But you have to this and that. So she got to figure things out on her own. And she's, she's very smart. And so she figures out a lot of a lot of stuff in this and that. And then the woman comes back. And she's pushing her away in this and that. And she got some, some glowing things in her wrist. She's like, what is, what's happening? And where do you want to go? And stuff. And so she... She ends up like it, it's like she's free to be whoever she wanna be, go where she wants to go. And it's, it's like the the alien race that unlocks something and lets you fulfill your fantasies or whatever. And so she wants to go back in time, she wants to go dance with Josephine Baker. So she goes back in that time and this marks a a, a transition of her life or whatever, like just something that she knows, like, it marks her finding her freedom. So she been, she been in America all this time, and she realizes, like, I never been free. I, I thought I was free. Like, we think we free from, like, from slavery and stuff like that. We're not slaves anymore or whatever, but we're not all the way free. Like, and she, she sees that, like, I've always been, like, what the white man wanted me to be and stuff, to fit in. And not really live my life. And so she with Josephine Baker. She dancing. She doing drugs. And being naked. And gyrating. And doing all kind of stuff. And then she has a, she has this conversation with Josephine Baker. And she realizes this. And she like. And, w and once I realize this. Like that I'm not free. I'm angry. I'm real angry. And what I want to. I want to go kill some white folks and stuff. And it's like. Is is back in the fifties and stuff. So if white people don't be offended and stuff, like if you watch the show, you understand. And so she's like, I want to go kill some white folks. I'm just like, so what happens? She goes back in time. Well, she already back in time, but she goes and she's a Hippolyta is like a mythology, mytholo mythological character and stuff. But she goes back in time and she goes meets these African warriors and everything so she learns how to become a warrior herself she doesn't know how to fight they kicking her ass 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 and then she gets better and better and better she learns more she grows she grows she becomes a warrior she goes out in the battlefields she tearing her ass up she like ah, ah, ah. so she is unleashed something like she's stronger than she ever would have would have known so she she found out that she's free and that she's strong beyond beyond belief. She can do whatever she wants. And so then she she comes there at peace with that. So what am I? I'm George's wife. So this was an emotional part on the show. She goes back, she's in the bed with George. And so she's telling him about her exploits. That used to be his thing. He used to tell her about all these places that he's seen and he went and she would stay home to, to keep, keep everybody safe and whatever. But now this time she's telling him the stuff and then she, she tells him it's like a, a hard moment and it's like, uh, all this time I thought I can be so great in my life and then I just shrunk. To fit in and be whatever everybody else needed in this net. Then I met you and I thought that you was going to unlock something and you was going to, to bring out this greatness in me and stuff. But all you did was just allow me to shrink more and more and more. And it, it hurts her to realize that. And then it hurts him to realize that as well. And so that is a beautiful moment on the show. But what happens is they go along with their exploits. And so it's her and George, they go to far off alien lands and they discover alien races and all kind of stuff together. It's beautiful. But then at the end is like uh she has a choice. She can she can uh assimilate <laughs> with this alien race. I don't know if that's the right word, but she can go with this alien race and be one of them. 
and do all these amazing things, or she can go back home. And she's like, I, I can never go back to being that small lady in everything that I am now. I can't fit back into, into that. But I want my daughter to be great. And so I got to go back. I got to go back for her. And so she goes back. But all we see is Tick come through the portal. And so Tick is like, and Hippolyta, and Hippolyta. He's searching for her. He's looking. They got alarms blazing. They got dead cops on the ground. So he got to take off. But something that you see at the end of the episode, on the ground, the daughter always draws a, a, like a book whenever Uncle George used to go. And so he would, he, she would draw these comic book characters. So you see on the ground, the comic book character that she actually did, it ended up being what Hippolyta had become. It was, it was this, this space voyager, this space discoverer, uh, and so, so it was a beautiful moment, but it was weird. So, I'm not saying this is my favorite episode. It has a lot of beautiful messages in it, but this episode was crazy. I'm this probably I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Like this might be my this might be my least favorite episode, but it's still it's beautiful. It's beautiful, like the mess. So it's it's not bad, but compared to all the other episodes, this one was just like it was so crazy. But that's just my thoughts on it, man. Like, uh, I want to see what happens with the rest of this season and stuff, man. Let me not try to make this too, too long. It's already super late. I'm tired, but I will, I'm, I'm still going to watch the podcast. I want to see, uh, what they, these ladies, the writers and stuff is talking about. That's on, uh, YouTube, HBO, if you want to check that out. But, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest and the most hated man. Holla at your boy. Much love. Peace.